in this pandemic time one thing struck me that uh, in india especially the second wave has been devastating and lot of devotees or their relatives um, have lost uh, close loved ones so many devotees ask me this question that is there any section from scripture that you can recommend that we can read to gain some solace so they said that they asked some other devotees and no again no criticizing anyone but as many said read the chitraketu pastime well mm. i mean that is not that is more about becoming detached but here it is about what say dealing with the grief the loss the sense of healing that is required or if somebody may, one of the some suggestions were came that read garud puran description of the soul's journey after that now that's quite a scary description right that is not at all consolatory so mm. you could say to some extent that uh, what you said about heartfelt introspection could mean mm. okay is this the right thing to speak or do at this point yes we want to help people mm-hmm. understand you're not the body or the soul but self critical thinking could also mean you know is this the right th- yes this is what i heard about this philosophy but is this the right thing to speak now so can, that that can also be a kind of critical thinking itself isn't it because i am almost denying the mm. minimizing or trivializing the humanity of other people if i say just you know why are you grieving it's igno- it's sign of ignorance it's a sign of illusion a sign of attachment alone so it's a it's a mm. great loss at a human level so would you also say that the similar lines something like that like premature one th- so you said that we might reject we might uh, re- uh you talked about mundane so one is we might mistake our mundane sentiment to be spiritual or we might mistake all sentiment to be mundane whereas absolutely so both ways absolutely. without reason uh without without so we, we equate reason with introspection or as you said heartfelt introspection so i think heartfelt introspection sounds a more comfortable word than critical thinking because critical thinking has a little bit academic tone to it and heartfelt mm. i think that is something which we are all encouraged to to think deeply about what we are doing and how where we are going absolutely i think we need to be aware of some of the generic differences between perhaps um the vedic and vaishnav academic and educational traditions in the western um without losing sight of the good and bad in both hmm so i mean by by critical obviously one doesn't in, in, in an academic sense what is not, not meaning negative criticism one is just meaning that one evaluates right okay um perhaps one of the biggest differences is that the object of knowledge um within the vaishnav and vedic traditions is very much the self and therefore the critique is directed largely towards oneself and not just towards others so when we evaluate um perhaps in many academic circles one may be evaluating others but it's very important according to our tradition to primarily evaluate ourselves and and this what is this um is also pertinent to the idea of morality because we might be keen uh, and we still do that in iskon in evaluating the moral conduct of others but unless we have our own house in order not just spiritually but also morally mm. then our reaching out to others will be less effective we have to have integrity to effectively spread krishna consciousness and integrity means is that stage where our cognition our words our feelings our whole being is aligned it's moving it's it's what they may they some have called flow it's powerful i mean i can speak and very often because i'm not mature i say one thing but do i really feel it mm. i do recall once many years ago giving a class um speaking about the perils and evils of sense gratification and it was I, and as i was speaking i i just realized <laughs> i don't really believe this in my heart i'm not fully convinced so integrity means when one has full realization that one's thoughts 
one's words, one's feelings, one's cognition are all moving in the same direction. They're aligned. And therefore it becomes powerful. 